Raise your hand if you think Sekiro has some of the best combat of all time. The Soulsborne games are my favorite games of all time, and although Sekiro isn't my favorite in the series, I do think it has the best combat out of all the games. The fighting mechanics are incredible. The other Soulsborne games give you this freedom where you can choose how you want to fight the boss, like you can hide behind a shield or you can focus on dodging the whole time, or a combination of both. Or you can just sit back and cast Kamet as air. Uh-huh. Yep. So good at this game, boys. Sekiro's different in the sense that the combat feels like this specific pattern that you have to follow. And although you may be thinking, hmm, it seems like more freedom would be better. That's true in some cases, but with Sekiro, because the combat feels like this specific pattern, it makes it feel like you're in this perfect flow state when you're fighting. I almost want to compare it to something like Dance Dance Revolution, and I know that there's way better comparisons, but I'm saying that because you basically have to like select the correct input to counter a boss's attack. That dopamine rush you get when you're consecutively selecting the perfect inputs against a boss and you're just tearing through him like some badass ninja who was trained by the League of Shadows, it's literally one of the best feelings in the world. Now if you're like me and you've beaten Sekiro 10,000 times, you may be thinking, hmm, what could I play that somewhat resembles this style of combat? Let me tell you, I have a game that I think you're gonna love. Now the game I'm talking about is For Honor. For Honor is an online game that originally released back in 2016, but still maintains an active player base because it's one of those live service games that has continuous updates in the form of new seasons, new characters, new content, so there's a lot of longevity here. It's similar to games like Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege, I guess, because it's pretty much only online besides a short solo campaign that you can play, and there's specific characters that you can play as that each have a very unique moveset and playstyle. There's characters that are small and fast, like the Shinobi, <coughs> Sekiro, and then there's tank-style characters that are stronger but slower. The reason I think you're gonna love this game is because the combat is very similar to Sekiro in my opinion. Like that's one of the first things I thought when I started playing this game. For Honor revolves around these 1v1 fights against other players where you have to use different style attacks to overcome your opponent. There's basically three different directions that you can attack in. You can attack on the left side, the right side, or front. And when somebody's attacking you, you need to block in that specific direction. Like if there's an attack that's coming in on the left side, you can't just block, you need to block in the left direction. There's also unblockable attacks, undodgeable attacks, light and heavy attacks, grab attacks, and you have to use a mix of all these different moves in order to be proficient. But at the same time, you need to also be very defensive and perform counterattacks. And this is where I see the biggest similarity to Sekiro. You need to enter the correct input against an attack. Like in Sekiro, if you see an unblockable thrust attack, you know that you have to Makiri counter. Now in For Honor, if you see an unblockable attack coming from up top, you know that you need to either dodge that attack or parry in the up direction. The feeling you get when you consecutively counter an opponent and that opponent is a real person, it's so satisfying, dude. There's been times where I dodge an unblockable attack and then right after I parry an incoming undodgeable attack and then I counter a grab attack right after, I legit feel like I'm Batman, dude. You really need to read your opponent in Sekiro. Like I'll attack a few times until I see the boss do that specific deflect animation, then I immediately switch to defending ready to either deflect or perform a dodge if it's an unblockable attack. 
Now in For Honor, you know, if you're playing against a crappy opponent, yeah, you can just spam different attacks. But where the game really shines is when you're playing against a decent opponent and you both switch off between attacking, then defending, counter-attacking, maybe throwing in an unblockable grab attack in the middle of the fight to throw them off. This game really feels like the closest thing to a sword fighting simulation game. Like, it's, it's really good. The amount of creativity you can implement in your fighting style is awesome as well. Like I'll chain some quick attacks together, but then throw in an unblockable heavy attack, or I'll throw in an undodgeable grab attack, you know, there's just so much creativity and freedom in this game that I love. I really do get a similar feeling to Sekiro when playing For Honor, and I wanted to share that with you guys because I honestly think you'll love it if you enjoy Sekiro and multiplayer games. Now for some more info on For Honor if you're actually interested in playing, there's a bunch of different game modes you can play. Some of the most popular are 1v1 duels, 2v2 duels, domination, and then there's this mode called Breach which I really like. It's like uh, one team is defending a castle, the other team's attacking trying to invade it. It's really cool. There's a bunch of different characters you can play as as well that each have a very unique play style. In the menu, it tells you some info on the character, like if they're a mix-up intensive character that has a bunch of different unblockable attacks, undodgeable attacks, grab attacks, so you can play like a very heavy offensive style game where you're using a bunch of different attacks to throw off your opponent. And then there's other characters that are more defensive counterattack style players where you have these really cool counterattacks and you play a style where you kind of sit back and read your opponent's attacks and respond accordingly. These are the type of players that I really like because it feels more like Sekiro. Like I'm reading my opponent's attacks and counterattacking accordingly. Just an awesome game and I really recommend it you guys. Now it's not to say that For Honor doesn't have its faults. One thing I really didn't like is that when you're playing a domination style mode, you get ganked a lot. And I posted on the For Honor subreddit one time asking, why do people gank? It's way more fun doing a 1v1 style fight. And I actually got a bunch of backlash for this where people were saying, oh, you must be new. Ganking is an integral part of the game which really confused me. But a veteran explained it to me where anti-ganking is a huge part of the game. So like, when you're getting ganked, you build up a meter, and then when this meter's full, you're basically invincible and OP for a short amount of time. So like, I've literally been being attacked 3v1, and then the meter fills up, and then I just smack all three of them. So I guess that's like For Honor's way of combating against ganking, and it's an integral part of the game. But I do much prefer to have a dope 1v1 fight with somebody, which still does happen very often in game modes like domination and breach but if you really want to just do 1v1s and you can just hop in the duels game mode and you won't really have to worry about being ganked but i do really like this game guys and sekiro is one of my all-time favorite games like when i'm thinking about the soulsborne games there's times where i'm like damn like sekiro might be like in my top two top three favorite soulsborne games you know it, it changes every week because each game is just so good but like sekiro does have the best combat out of all of the games and the closest thing i've played to resembling uh sekiro is for honor you know for honor came out before sekiro so you know there's that but overall i love this game and i think you guys will too if you're looking for a game similar to sekiro to scratch that itch you should give for honor a try it's not expensive. I think I got it for like $7.99 when it was on sale. So, you know, definitely look out for those sales. Try to get a snipe. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think it's similar to Sekiro or am I just a massive idiot? Once again, it's your boy Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button if you want to see some more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.